So in this video I'm going to talk a little about double slit diffraction and then I'm going to look on to the difference between Young's setup and the setup we use nowadays with lasers and discuss a few key points about lasers. So first of all, take a look at this diagram here. So we've got this source of coherent waves approaching and passing through these two slits. So that means that coming out the other side you get two sets of diffraction here. And where they cross over, you get your constructive interference, and the regions in between, you get your destructive interference. So I've picked a line here where they're all there's a line of constructive interference. So just like with the single slit, you get the brightest, most intense maximum at right at the center here, and then each of these peaks as we go further and further away gets lower into a lower intensity. The other key thing to address is that if we'd done this with the same wavelength but with a single slit you'd have got a bright central peak double the width and this would have been this what's called the single slit envelope. So all the double slit stuff is contained within where the central maximum of the single slit would be. So that's what this envelope is all about. So, things to think about here are the different setups that were done when, the, when this was first done and what it's done now. So if we move on and have a look at that. So, originally, Thomas Young, like very, well, a lot over a century ago, had this experimental setup. So he had a light bulb passing through a single slit which, and then the light then passed through the double slit and then there was a screen where the fringes could be observed. Nowadays you just have a laser with a double slit and again a screen where it can be observed. Why the difference? Well, light bulbs are not a source of coherent light so you have to pass it through this first slit to produce a coherent source of light so having a constant phase difference so then, here at the double slit, you then get constructive and destructive interference and you get these nice fringes with really good contrast. If you took that away, so if we got rid of this, you'd get it being very fuzzy here, you get very low contrast. So that's when you did a light bulb, or when you first did it, I believe you did it with a candle. So nowadays, we have lasers, which are a source of they're highly coherent and monochromatic, which you should know about from one of my previous videos. And this means you don't need the single slit anymore, and you can just have the double slit straight away. But whenever you talk about lasers, you need to talk about safety implications because light bulbs are pretty safe. Lasers are dangerous to your eye so they could damage your re damage your retina in your eyes so as a safety precaution you always have to mention is point away from your eyes and make sure you have a safety precaution to make sure that happens. So there are some benefits with lasers but then there's these safety concerns which you have to think about and there's been quite a few questions in the past targeting that specific area of knowledge about the safety of lasers.